Hello, I'm Candace Brock from the Special Education Department, here to tell you about writing annual goals in Success Ed. So let's get started. You're going to want to log in to start.successed.net, and we recommend that you use Google Chrome just to make sure that you have access to all of the features. So let's go ahead and jump in. Once you log in, it will take you to the home screen. Here, you'll click on SE Manager. Right here, you'll enter in the student's name. I'm going to enter in the student's last name, and as you see, it will load all of the students with that name. There's the student that I'm looking for. Click on it, and then it will show you all of the forms that are already in draft. I need to create a new one. So right here, I'm going to click the drop down box, and since I'm writing annual goals, that's what I'm going to click on. Once you click there, the new slash edit will change and then you'll see that it will say new draft. Now I can click it. Give it a minute and then it will create the new draft for you. The program itself will default to enter in that student's information so it has her name, her campus, and any other information that's linked to the student. Right here, you'll enter in the goal effective date. You'll click on the calendar and select the date of the student's annual ARD. So since her ARD is taking place on Wednesday, October 4th, that's what I'm gonna click on. One thing for you to note is the program defaults your annual goal effective dates to be for an entire calendar year. So in the case of this student, since her goal, or excuse me, her annual ARD is on October 4th, 2017, these goals will start on that date and end on October 3rd, 2018. Once that information is in there and it's correct, just click Save. It'll save the form, and now you're ready to begin writing your annual goals. Since this student is a resource and inclusion student, I'm only going to be writing academic goals. So click the green plus sign right next to academic goals. It takes you to the screen for you to insert that information. As you see, the goal start date is already there for you, but you'll need to choose which subject that you're going to be focusing on. Since this is an English goal, that's what I'll click on. It defaults to have English Goal 1, but I suggest that you take that information out and write exactly what this goal is going to be focused on. So since I'm writing a comprehension goal, that's what I'm going to type right there in the goal identifier. Once you're done with that, just hit Enter. You'll then be ready to insert the TEAK that you want this student to focus on. And you'll do that by clicking the small box located to the right of the TEKS box. Once you find the standard that's appropriate for your student, you'll click OK. One thing I want to talk about while we're waiting for that to load is that you'll notice that they have multiple circles with different letters in them. These are to help you know what type of TEK it is. I chose a vertically aligned TEK. And it's important that you do that for most of your students to make sure that the TEAK you've chosen is one that they'll be working on throughout the school year and one that covers multiple grade levels. You'll also notice TEAKs with an R next to them, those are readiness standards, an S for supporting standards, and an E for essence statements. Once you've chosen the appropriate TEAK, you're now ready to write your annual goal. So as you'll see, the TEAK has generated right in that box for you. And like I said, I chose one that was vertically aligned. So as you see right here, it shows you which grade levels that this standard is appropriate for. And just like I told you, it covers multiple grade levels. Once you've done that, you're ready to enter in the PLAF. This information needs to be directly linked to your student and discuss whatever present levels that this student is currently on. I've already written that information, so I have it right here in a Word document. And we suggest that you do that. That way you can make any grammar mistakes and spell checks. You can do all of that in Microsoft Word. Just make sure that the information is relevant to your student and lets whoever is reading that PLAF know exactly where your student is currently functioning. So for this student, I'm going to highlight exactly what I've written already 
And as I stated before, it talks about what current grade level she's in, her current grade in reading, how she's doing in class, as well as areas that need to be addressed. So we'll copy that information and paste it right over here into the class. Once you're done with that, you're ready to write your goal. You can also use the wizard feature right here, the small box to the right, to create your goal. If you use this, here is where you will enter in the time frame, just right up there at the top, and make sure that when you're entering in the time frame that you always choose by the next annual ARD. And you'll see right here in the drop down box that that is the option that's available for you. Here in this box are the conditions. These need to be chosen based on evidence of need in the student's FIE and the PLAS. Here is where you'll choose the evaluation method. And this is how you will be determining student progress on the written goal at the selected criteria, which, you'll ch which you will check in this box right here. For the case of this example, I've already written my goal in Word. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it right into success ed. One thing I do want to make note of is that if you use the goal wizard to create your goal, be sure to take the TEAK number out because the program will default with that TEAK number in it. And like we said, you chose an, a goal that's vertically aligned. So it spans multiple grade levels. So it's important that you take that information out. That way when the student moves on to the next grade, they see that the goal is still appropriate. We're now ready to choose the person responsible for implementing the goal. Scroll down all the way to the bottom because we're looking for special education teacher. And there it is. Once you find it, select it. And as you see, the frequency of the progress reporting is going to stay concurrent with report cards. Once you're done with that, just click Save. And now you're ready for your upcoming ARD. You've got this.